segment on our show called State Your Case. Okay? I kind of like that. So, in State Your Case, this is a part of our show. You know when you're in front of the judge and you got to state your case to basically set yourself free. So, I want you to state your case and give you about a minute on how the offense can score points this game. How can we score over 20 points this game? State your damn case. Go. All right. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, if it may please you, this is how I state my case the offense can score a bunch of points. First of all, use your weapons to your advantage. Can we make sure that Foreman and Dontrell Hilliard get some carries? Use them out of the backfield. Protect Tannehill for me so that he can throw. He ain't got to throw 35. He ain't got to throw 40 times and all like that. 35 is good. Get Julio the freaking ball. I need about seven, eight catches for about a buck 10 and a score. Get Julio the damn ball. Yes, sir. First, sir, Michael Pruitt. Utilize the tight ends that we have. I know we really don't have one, but utilize. Utilize the weapons and just stick to what you know. Like I said earlier, PA and J. And be who you are. Mm -hmm. It ain't that hard. I rest my case. Facts. No paper. (laughs) That mic's on fire. That mic is on fire. I like that. I like that. I like that. You know what? Let me state my case. Chris, that was hard to hard follow. That's hard to follow up, my brother. But you're right. Well, I'm going to take it a little bit more deeper. Mm-hmm. Todd Downey, brother. Todd Downey, brother, let me talk to you. I know you're an analytical guy. I know you said in your press of the day, I'm an analytical guy. We got to get the offense involved. We got to do this. We got to do that. Prove it. This is the game to prove it, okay? You got Julio out there who's practiced two weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row consistently, right? Looks good in practice. He looks hungry. What you don't want to do is you don't want to get a Julio frustrated where he's not getting enough balls, right? Mm-hmm. You have to. It's like feeding the beast. It's like feeding the king. It's the same thing. Feed Julio. Feed Julio. Feed Julio. You have to draw up packages where you get Julio open, right? We know he's a long stretch guy. He's a north and south guy. These out routes that you're doing, no. You got to get them utilizing that 50-50 game, too. That up down the field, that vertical, that 50-50 ball. That's where he eats, and that's where he's going to continue to eat, right? Yep. Same thing with Preach. running the ball. Same thing with running the freaking ball, okay? What you did in the Patriots game, 200 yards. The game Sunday when we played the Jags, I liked the first series where they were coming out. Mm-hmm. They were methodical. Everything was balanced. That needs to be consistent across the board, right? Don't want it yep. to Nick Aquino, Westbrook, and all this. I'm with you. I'm with you, Chris. That ain't gonna that ain't gonna fly, man. Get Julio the ball. And like you said earlier, get the tight ends involved because the Patriots are gonna do it. Hell, even the Chiefs do it. We don't do it. So for me, Todd Downing is going to have to call a hell of a game. And this is the game we're going to need him to actually wake up and get it going consistently till we get into the playoffs and hopefully a Super Bowl. <laughs> Boom. I stated my damn case. <laughs> I love it. And, and I, uh, I was I was with you 100%. Damn. Gavel. Gavel. So, I, I'm with you. And, I, hey. and that's the thing. Todd Downing is going to be the key to all of this. Yes. If, if he's if you again stick to what you know, yes, stick to what you know. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yep. Don't try to fit a square peg into a round hole. Yep. You put that round peg in the round hole that we know we're good with. Right. It's not that difficult. Facts. It's not that hard. It's not. It's not. And 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 I, and I equated to 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 your first year play calling. I know that's mm-hmm. difficult. I get that. I definitely get that. But also it's time to get consistent. And then I, I've told Hawk this. I said I feel like he's going to be better next year than what he is this year because you get a you get Julio back for the second year. You get your offense, you add more pieces to it. The offensive line gets better. Hey, so we do what we do. And we got who? Titans and truth in the building, y'all. If you have not subscribed to this man's channel, I'm y'all y'all are missing out. Literally. Titans and Truth brings fire, fire, fire freaking content. Every time, every time the mic be on fire. So 
Definitely. And hit that like button, too. So, hey, what, what, what did Mark say? Do exactly what the Chargers are doing tonight. Exactly.